Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special webinar we have here at Melco. Um, we're going to talk about some new features um, uh, in the directed garment sphere, uh, specifically with Epson. Talk about DTG, but what we're really focused on in this in this webinar is talking about the brand new printer from from Epson, the Epson F2270, the Sure Color F2270, the newest generation of directed garment printers. You can tell. I still have the F2100 here um, because there are no 2270s available yet. However, we are taking pre-orders now. That's what we want to share. There we go. So this is what we. This is the link to the pre-order screen from Melco. Um, the link is in the comments. Like I said, go ahead and fill out this information. We'll reach out to you. We'll take an order. We'll put you on that list. So when printers do become available in the United States probably in August, September, something like that, later in the summer, beginning of fall, um, you'll be high on that list. And you'll get some of the earliest printers to come in, which is which is pretty exciting. So we're here to get you in line for that. And let's go back to me. And we have a special guest today. In fact, we're going to get our eyes on it right now with our friends over at Epson. Um, and I want to introduce Paul, our friend over at Epson, who's going to actually show us the Epson F2270. Paul, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you, John. Uh, thanks for the intro. Uh, a lot of great stuff looking there, like that landing page that you guys did. And thank you. We're over here having some fun in our executive briefing center, uh, showing some different things. And that's what we're here for today. So we're really excited to help present with you, Melco, the F2270 printer. Great. So we're just going to jump right in. Uh, I'm going to load a shirt and we're going to get started. And while we watch some printing, we're going to talk about some different features, some different things that we've added, some improvements and different things like that. So uh, if there's any questions during this process, as John mentioned, if you have a Q&A, you can throw it in there. And so we'll take it away. So we're going to grab a shirt here. I've pre-treated a couple of shirts ahead of time so that we can just quickly get it loaded. So we'll get to a different shot so that you can see us loading these garments. We have a quick load hanger platen system, which makes it really easy for you to load shirts quickly, have everything centered and lined up very well. We have got ergonomic controls right here on the side, easy for the, for the user to access and get the print job going. Now, another thing that's great is we have a new flat top cover and the cover is actually clear on the front side. So we're taking a peek inside there's LED lights that actually will turn on to allow you to view what you're printing as it's printing. So there's no more tinted cover making it difficult for you to see. No need to prop the cover open while you're printing. Uh, you have a clear visibility uh, right there. You can also see down at that corner, there's a little QR code label. And what's great about that is anybody can pop out their phone, go to that QR code site, and that will take you to documentation for how to run different procedures on the printer, like maintenance and things of that nature. So all of that is right there at your disposal. So you can see there, the print is all done. And so we're gonna take that one off and we're gonna load our next one. So we have our astronaut over here. We're gonna just toss that to the side and we'll get our next shirt ready. Now what's great about this unit is the uh, productivity allows it for a user to quickly and easily load their next job and then print right away. So we went from our first design to our second design quickly and easily, and there's very minimal downtime in between the actual prints. So you can see we went from our first shirt to our second shirt with very minimal delay. And this is really important. So one of the things we wanted to make sure of was we wanted to maximize our uptime minimize our downtime on the printing equipment. And that's one of the things we've done certainly on here. So this is another graphic. We're using our garment black print mode and we're printing out of an all new software that will come standard with this machine and that is Garment Creator 2. One of the big benefits of Garment Creator 2 is we now have four times the resolution for our prints. So we can take full advantage of this all new Ultra Chrome DG2 ink set, which adds improved color clarity and quality and resolution and detail, especially in our CMYK inks. So taking full advantage of that out of the Garment Creator 2 software, 
we produce very stunning results, especially when we're doing some artistic type of renderings or photographs or anything where you really need that high level of detail. So in this case, you can see we have a kind of a color ink swirl right here. And if we were to look closely at it, we can see all of that detail. It's, it's really cool to take a look at for sure. All right, so as this print is done, we can take that up and we can see we are very colorful, very vibrant prints and very sellable quality at upwards of about 20 dark shirts per hour. And that's with a white underbase, CMYK on top, 14 by 16 area, essentially armpit to armpit, collar to belt buckle. Now we're gonna switch gears a little bit because we have a hybrid printing system. We're gonna go from printing on the garment to printing on a digital transfer film. Now, one of the things that you probably noticed right there is I was easily able to switch from a garment to film without having to make any adjustments to the platen itself. And this is thanks to our garment thickness optimization. There's sensors underneath the cover as the platen goes in. And what this is doing is it's actually measuring what is loaded on the platen. So if I have a garment or if I have a piece of film, it's going to pick that up with the sensors. The print heads inside the head carriage will actually adjust to the appropriate platen gap distance, providing us with the best quality, regardless of if we're printing on a garment or a piece of film. And as we like to call it, it's like having autofocus for your garments. And so what we're doing here is since we're printing on a digital transfer film, we're actually printing the CMYK colors first, and then we're printing a white base after that. And once the print is done, we can take it over to our powdering station area so that we can complete the process of adding the hot melt adhesive powder. And then at that point, it is ready to be transferred on to your garments or your hats or canvas shoes, backpacks, uh, anything of that nature where you don't want to pre-treat or maybe you have a little bit of a challenge with loading it onto the machine. So going from a garment to a piece of digital transfer film was actually very easy. And what's really cool about this is because we're printing on the film, we get very high detail, photographic quality, sharpness and detail. So we're actually going to bring this up close to the camera so that you all can take a, a look at it. Just going to walk it up right here. Now the nice part about printing on digital transfer film is we have the ability to nest our design. So we are minimizing the waste and everything that we are printing, we can use. Thanks, Paul. I'm gonna take that from you real quick. And uh, how do you like that movie magic there? <laughs> I'm gonna take that from you real quick and I'm actually gonna apply it on the heat press quickly to a, a job that has already been direct to garment printed on the back. This is a really good example of um, using direct-to-garment for a printer for both direct-to-garment prints and for heat transfers, and you can do both. So this is a really classic design that would be ideal for DTG, a lot of color, a lot of detail, and we want it to be nice and breathable on the back of this cotton shirt. This is big print, so perfect DTG application. But now we have that detailed left chest that you saw, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that really quick to this shirt. And it only takes a few seconds. Um, we, we're low pressure and low heat and low time and because of that we can do this on a lot of different materials that would be really sensitive normally so nylons polyesters all those things can be done with this application so where you might not want to direct to garment print it direct to film is going to be the perfect application for that so i'm going to go ahead and line this up where i would normally put it on the left chest i'm going to be very low amount of time here just a little bit of pressure uh, 300 degrees maybe 45 seconds something like that that's going to really seal it in and give us a good result. So what I've done from there is I've hooped it. And this is the spot that I really wanted to highlight, talking about how embroidery can really work well with direct garment in some unique areas. So we have this job that's been hooped. Paul just printed that us and sent it to us through the Internet. And I applied it to this shirt. This one's done. You know, that goes quick. So this is a warm peel. So we're just going to like let it cool for a second. You can set these aside or whatever. And we're just going to do a quick warm peel here. And you can tell that that's on there now. Good to go. And I pre-hooped one. 
So I'm going to take this to my embroidery machine, and this is where the magic happens. I'm going to hoop it, and what I'm doing here is what we call Melco laser alignment. Before I do that, though, Paul, will you show us how to um, how uh, maybe some of the internals of the new machine? I'd like to see some of those uh, some of those new maintenance guts. Yeah, so we can talk a little bit about that. So uh, one of the things that is unique to Epson that you'll see across a lot of our different equipment is our fabric wiper system. And this is something that's really important to help maximize a user's uptime while minimizing the downtime. So the reason why a fabric wiper is important is every time you run a cleaning, the print heads are gonna get wiped. Now, unlike other equipment out there that uses a traditional rubber blade, we use a fabric wiper because it's the equivalent of an operator taking a lint-free cloth and wiping the entire surface area of the print head every time it cleans. What we've also added is we've added maintenance liquid here. And so we have a maintenance liquid pack right in here. And what that does is it coincides with the suction caps in the system to help clean the nozzles, but also remove any fibers or debris that may get stuck on the print heads. This actually coincides with our nozzle verification technology, which is something that's really cool inside our precision core print heads. So while you are printing your jobs, the printer is actively monitoring each and every one of those nozzles inside the print head. And if it detects that there's any clogs or any obstruction, it's gonna use a neighboring nozzle to fire in its place. All of this happens while you are running your jobs and running your production. So there's no need to actually stop the machine and perform maintenance, get a good test print, and then get it back up and going. Very cool. So this actually translates to much less waste, much more time printing. Now, another thing that's important to see is on our touchscreen control panel, we have temperature and humidity, so we can monitor the environment within the room. We can see our ink levels. We can see any maintenance messages that should occur. And we can also see our various settings for whatever job that we have sent over there. So it's really easy for you to take a look, know exactly where you are in your production uh, and within your maintenance. It's also very easy to access this area by just simply opening this cover. And what's nice is the cover is not going to slam shut. So when we actually close the cover, it's going to close uh, very smoothly like that. It's a flat top surface. So we can place a laptop station with garment creator on it. We can place our next garments that we need to print or even pieces of film right on here. So it's a very sleek design uh, and very easy to use. Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. So hi, everybody. So here we are at the embroidery machine, and this is the unique spot, the unique uh, feature that I wanted to kind of show you guys, which is the, the laser alignment feature where we can now, we can take our design that we have on here and we can, we can, um, uh, we have two arbitrary points that we have on this design that show us where we want to align, oh, hit the wrong button, where we want to align our print head. So that's a pretty easy thing to do. All we have to do is just pick our laser spot, and this will work for any any design that you set into gar into um, our software. Um, you can you, Melco makes their own software. We make it's called Design Shop version eleven, and because of the features that we have here, we can really set this up to work on anything, not just um, direct to garment on a T-shirt, but you can do it with twill, you can do it with dye sublimation, which we sell from Epson. So there's a lot of different options out there. So with that, I'm going to set this design. We're going to do a quick trace to make sure that it's in the place that it should be. And you can see that little laser tracing perfectly around the design, exactly where we want it to be. And with that, we're going to embroider. And you'll see up close here that this is going to now embroider right along the edge of this design, right where we expect it to be. Pretty simple little application here. Not terribly complicated. Really fun to watch. It's almost mesmerizing. Yeah, that looks really cool, John. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, that's a really cool and unique process to kind of add or embellish, if you will, the capabilities of the unit on here. Uh, wanted to talk one more thing uh, while you're getting set up over there. So we were talking a little bit about maintenance, uh, and I just wanted to cap off that discussion. So. As far as user maintenance requirement 
you're looking at about a less than five minute procedure, about once per month. So the machine does a very good job of self-maintaining with that maintenance liquid, with the fabric wiper, the nozzle verification technology. So all of that works together. This printer does also come with a one year limited warranty, but there's service plans available for you to have the ability to extend your coverage for up to a total of five years. So five years of, of coverage really speaks to the confidence that we have in this product and what it can do for you. While this, while this is running in the background, it only, it only takes a minute or two to run. You can, hopefully you guys can hear me over the embroidery machine, but I wanna show you a little bit about some, some options. So we have our directed garment printed back. And I took this art and I added the red border and we did that just direct to film. So you know, you know, you can make it look like a patch with just a uh, direct to film, or when it's done, you can show, you can do this option where you're showing, maybe add a little bit of an embellishment to make it look like more like a patch. And again, like I said, that's very easy to do, and that's really nice detail there. I that's really that. cool. That, that's super fun, and and that's really unique. But we can also do hoodies and a number of other things. And I really want to emphasize a testament here to how this is a benefit to your production shop. It's a good ad for a lot of reasons, not just the fact that you can do directly on t-shirts, but you can add it with other sorts of applications and really do it on a lot of different materials. That's why direct to garment is so important. And that's why direct to film is so important. And with the new 2270, the reliability, the ease of use, the maintenance, uh, the speed, all of those things that make it the industry leading direct to garment printer uh, from Epson. That's why we sell it because it's good. It's good for your business. It's going to work for you. You're going to turn it on. You're going to print. You're going to make money. You're going to turn it off and go home and sleep well, knowing that when you come in in the morning, your printer is going to work well, just like our embroidery machines. We want reliability, ease of use, money making equipment. And that's what we sell here at Melco. And that's why. That's why we're happy to be partners with you guys. And you guys have been fantastic. We don't we don't call on you often because we don't need to, frankly, because your equipment just works so well. But when we do, um, you guys have just been great helping our customers and helping us get to the bottom of solutions that do pop up. So thank you guys at Epson. Glad. Absolutely. Yeah, we're thrilled with our partnership with you. On our landing page here, I'm going to show you that real quick again briefly. Here's our landing page link in the comments. If you want to pre-order the Epson F2270, now's the time to do it. These will be shipping sometime late summer, early fall. Uh, we want to get you on that list and get you going. Um, uh, land, get on that landing page right now. So this is the opportunity to answer, to have some questions. Um, a few have popped in here. Paul, I'm going to go over and just kind of rifle off a few for you. Um, yeah, and before we jump into that, I just wanted yeah. to add just to kind of cap off what you were just mentioning. Uh, so the F2270, uh, we are looking to start shipping those in late August. However, the F2100, which is what you have there right behind you, uh, those right. are available now. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, it's been one of the leading direct-to-garment printers in the industry for several years. So those are definitely available now. If somebody doesn't want to wait, they need to add to their production. It's still a very good, reliable printer uh, to use. Yeah, and they're on sale for 11,000 bucks. So. You know, if you're uh, if you're looking to add a DTG printer right now, don't want to wait. You don't necessarily want to spend the extra money. The 2100, it does kill it. And this, you know, these things, they've really proven themselves over the last five years. I mean, people, I, my job is easy because of you guys. People aren't calling all the time and saying, it's broken. Why doesn't this work? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that's been the history with DTG. So it's really nice to know that we, you have such outstanding product and, and we love selling it. Um, let's get into our first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to add on uh, one of the things that we make sure of uh, when we're uh, designing and creating new equipment is we take customer feedback and user feedback uh, very seriously. And we work that in as part of what we're going to upgrade or improve. So uh, definitely important to us. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's such good, it's good to hear. Always getting better. Always getting better. That's right. Um, so somebody asked, well, how much is the F2270? Uh, so what we're looking at is an estimated list price of about eighteen thousand nine ninety five. Cool, and that's just to start. We'll see where it goes from there, huh? Mm -hmm. And they mentioned that shipping you expect sometime in um, is it September ish, something like that. Uh, we're looking at late August. Uh, one thing I did okay. want to mention is yep. uh, the printer will come shipped with a full set of ink, so they're not. Uh, Initial starter packs that are lower capacity, they are full 800 milliliter ink packs, full set, which will come in the box with the machine. 
Yeah, and that actually preludes the next question nicely. Tell us about the new uh, DG2 inks. What's special about them? So we have a new formulation on our DG2 inks, which provides improved color clarity, resolution, detail, consistency. Uh, for F2100 users out there, you're probably familiar with an ink blot reduction setting within Garment Creator to kind of help minimize uh, ink wicking out or bleeding into each other. Uh, and this takes a it takes that essentially to the next level uh, to drastically reduce that. Now, what's great about the ink packs is it's a lot less waste, up to 70% landfill waste, uh, and there's more ink in there as well. So uh, it's very convenient. There's going to be less time spent changing inks and more time printing. Yeah, that's great. And so it ships with 800 milliliters. Right now, the 2100 has 600 milliliters. And like you said, it came with 250s and whites. And so we would always request customers buy um, additional whites just so they can get into production zone on the 2100. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty neat that it's shipping with 800 milliliters. Was that a hard fight or did you was that easy to was that easy to add? Uh, that was one thing we wanted to make sure that we <laughs> threw in there. So good. we glad made glad it happen. Hear. Yeah, good. I'm glad to hear it. And I know customers will be too. Um, speed, speed increases. Um, is it faster? That's the next question. It is. So uh, because we have a new micro TFP precision core print head in here, we're about 20 to 25 percent faster. And so what that translates to is uh, with dark garments, when we're talking about a white underbase with full CMYK, 14 by 16 area, so armpit to armpit, collar to belt buckle, we're looking at about upwards of 20 dark garment shirts per hour. If we're talking about just light garments where we're printing CMYK, in other words, we don't need to pre-treat, we don't need to print white, we're going on the white shirt, we can get upwards of 45 shirts per hour on the machine. So we've greatly increased the productivity without sacrificing the resolution, the detail, the quality that people have come to know and expect with Epson DTG. Nice. Um, another question was uh, the, the carriage adjustment. Now I know that um, the, the 2100, it, it would throw a, a scent, uh, throw a warning at you if there was a wrinkle in the shirt. But um, yeah, so that's a good question. Uh, how does that how does that work now with the new technology to be able to adjust for those minor imperfections? That's a great question. So that actually coincides with our garment thickness optimization sensors. So we talked a little bit about that earlier when we were loading and unloading the garments and going from printing on the garment to printing on the film. So those sensors actually have a three millimeter range on the platen, and they will detect whatever is loaded on the platen as it goes in. Now the platen itself doesn't raise up or down on its own. The print head inside the carriage is what actually will adjust to the appropriate platen gap, whether we're printing on a shirt or reload a piece of film. So in other words, you do not have to manually make adjustments to the platen here by raising or lower it when you're switching from one garment to the next. Now, what's even better about that is because those sensors are detecting everything on the platen, if there was, let's say, a little bit of a wrinkle or a fiber that's sticking up or, or anything that goes beyond the area, the printer will prompt you right away to smooth out the garment. So it's going to prevent head strikes from occurring or costly reprints. It will allow you to smooth out the garment, resend the job. You actually will just press the button and you don't lose the job, so it just continues to go. It's a tool-free manual adjustment too, which is great. And it will adjust up to one inches thick if wow. you actually manually lower the platen. Now, uh, since we're talking about platens, I'm sure another question that's on everybody's mind is, well, if I have an F2100 or if I have a first generation F2000 printer, will my platens work with this system? And the answer is absolutely yes. So we made sure that the bases are the same. So any platens that you have already acquired and even third party platens uh, can work on this system. Nice, so you don't have to buy a whole new set. So well, just a technical question, when it does make that adjustment, it does, you don't lose vibe, you don't lose uh, clarity in your design or resolution like you, like you would normally if you had a platen height sensor and you couldn't adjust, uh, pull the shirt off to adjust it, you just lower the platen, but the, high, the lower you go, maybe the more overspray there is or less of a less resolution. So does the printhead make, does the printer make those adjustments now to keep that clarity and, and, and resolution when it does make those adjustments up or down? Absolutely. In its simplest terms, it's like having autofocus for your garments. Right. Oh, well said. So the highest point on the platen, those print heads inside the carriage underneath the covers will actually adjust to the appropriate platen gap. So 
regardless of if it's a shirt or a piece of digital transfer film, you're always going to get the highest resolution and detail. Nice autofocus. You mind if I use that in the future? Absolutely. That's a good one. I'm not going to claim it as my own. I'll give you credit, <laughs> but I certainly do plan on using it. All right. That's awesome. Um, well, again, what we did, we printed direct to garment on the back. That's an empty one. We printed direct to garment on the back of a shirt. We're printing direct to film on the front of a shirt. Paul showed us how to do it on the new Epson F2270. We combined some embroidery. And this is really the, uh, this is what we want to focus on, how, why DTG is such a good combination asset for your shop to help generate more revenue, offer more uh, products, really vers increase your versatility of your line. Customers are looking for a few things here and there. Sometimes they want 10 shirts, five shirts. Uh, they want these type of specific applications that if you're not providing, they're going to go find somewhere else. And it doesn't cost a lot to get into this stuff and you can really diversify your offerings. And that's why we have such a great combination of products here with our partners over at Epson and all the Melco embroidery and our design shop shop software. Everything just works really well together. So thanks, Paul, for showing us the new Epson F2270. Again, there's the pre-order link in the comments. If you have any questions, certainly reach out to me, jayladrew at melco.com. And um, it's been great. Thanks for uh, this. Thanks for this overview, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having us on. We certainly appreciate it, John. And uh... good. We'll look to see you very soon. Yep, I'll be coming out there visiting you guys and um, showing me around that great facility you guys have. Thanks again, and uh, we're going to sign off. Bye, everybody. Take care.